Welcome to the introduction of how to use an architect's and engineer's scale. Hello, I'm Dan Dorfmiller. This is one of several introduction videos on how to learn to read prints taken from my book, Print Reading for Construction. Today we're going to talk about how to learn to read an architect scale and an engineer scale. Before we get started, please visit my website at www.printreading.us and go to the book order and video page to order your print reading for construction text, book, and full length training videos for a variety of units. And always feel free to contact me at dorf at dorfmuller.us and I look forward to hearing from you. There are two different kinds of scales typically used in uh, construction drawings. Uh, one is called an architect scale and it relates uh, like a quarter inch equals one foot, eighth inch equals one foot, half inch equals one foot, th I, you know, even all the way up to three inches equals one foot. The other is considered and that's typically used for the inside of the building. The other is an engineer scale and it is used typically on the outside of the building and it relates everything one, you know, to, to an inch. One inch equals 10 feet, for instance, one inch equals 10 foot, 20 foot, 30 foot, and 40 foot, and so on. Let's start by looking at the quarter inch and the eighth inch side of the scale. First notice that we have two scales on here, that the quarter is double the eighth and the eighth is half the quarter. First I want you to notice the zero marks. We have a low zero mark and a high zero mark. These high and low zeros indicate which one of these ticks marks down through the middle that we can use. The high zeros you can use every other one. Notice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. On the eighth inch side you use every tick mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now also notice ever so often that they're going to tell you what the number is. On the low numbers there's eight, twelve, sixteen. You don't worry about these top numbers. The thirty-eight goes with the high marks. Down here you notice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you go on through here like that and pay no attention to these lower numbers that are on the lower, lower tick marks. Notice here on the eighth inch from here to here indicates a foot in scale. Now because it's really small you're going to have these these tick marks are broken down in two uh, inch segments. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve inches. Over here on the quarter inch it's a little bit bigger. We can get more tick marks in there. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So here to here represents a foot in scale. So this way you go to measure full feet and this way you go to measure portions of a foot in inches. Also let's notice as we go we can turn to scale we've got a lot of scales on here on the top part of this we have the half inch on this side and the inch on this side. And notice also that these marks are broken down into we've got a one inch equals a foot and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you've got uh, that that's an inch, then you have a half inch, and you also have quarters. This is broken down into quarter inches. This one's broken down into half inches. Flip the scale again. We've got three thirty seconds and three sixteenths. We've also got a full foot shown here, broken down in sixteenths of an inch. Flip it again. We got three quarters here and three eighths, three inches an inch and a half. And now back to the eighth inch and a quarter. Let's also say that we maybe we just want to check and make sure that the scale is right. We said it was an eighth of an inch to a foot. So let's, uh, let's see if this makes any sense. Let's put the scale down here and we have ten feet. So we'll line it up on the zero mark on one side and we'll read across here. We got eight, nine, and it looks like it's right dead on that. Ten, ten feet. So I would see, feel pretty comfortable as I scaled things off of this particular drawing that everything has been reduced down to the proper scale. Next we're going to talk about 
an engineer's scale here. And an engineer's scale is related to so many feet per inch. And I'm going to show you a couple things here. I'm going to get out my old scale I've had since I was, uh, I think, in architect school. And look at here, we got one inch equals 10 feet, okay? And you flip it over here to the 20, one inch equals 20 feet. And one inch equals 30 feet. And so on, all around, on around. We have one inch equals 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 feet. The near scale is really quite easy to read. Um, for instance, here, you have, this is a, one inch equals 10 foot. You have zero, five foot, 10 foot, 15, 20. So you just simply have to add a zero to each one of these numbers. And of course, the 10 can also, just for a piece of information, 10 can be 1 inch equals 10 feet, 1 inch equals 100 feet, or 1,000 feet, or 10,000 feet. You know, you'd use the 100 feet and the 10,000 feet, the 1,000 feet for, uh, for maps and things of this nature. But for instance, here on the 20 scale, uh, you see 10 foot, 20 foot, 30 foot. So you just simply add a zero to each one of these, and you'll have the amount of feet that you, that you have. Also notice about an engineer scale, we're per pretty much just dealing with whole feet here. The purpose is we're working on the outside of the building. Uh, they might dimension it uh, 15 foot and uh, 9 inches, but if you're using the 20 scale, you, know, you got 10, 15 foot, 9 inches, someplace in there is a 9 inch. So basically speaking, you'd probably just mark it right around the 16 foot mark. So you'd have to find the dimensions if you're actually trying to build it. But if you're taking off information, you would just simply put the scale down and, and measure it. Measuring uh, using an, an engineer's scale here. Now, I'm looking at a drawing here. This is, a, this is a plot plan of a community. And there's no scale actually written down on the drawing. So I've got to determine the scale. So let's look at this 95 feet. And let's see if we can figure it out. Uh, we'll throw down to 10 scale and it says 24 feet, so we know that's not right. Let's double that. Uh, 20s into the not quite 50. Let's try maybe the 40 scale here. We'll put the 40 scale down on there and we'll gonna line it up with a zero. And we got 80, 90, it looks like 95 feet. So it looks to me like this drawing is probably one inch equals 40 feet. Now let's just for fun here, let's say the customer wants to know how wide it is from this point on over, the widest spot in his lot. And we know we have 134, 95, 87, and uh, I can't quite read that number there. So let's just put this down on there and let's just read across there. We can tell the customer we got, see, we got line it up on the zero, and we got 100, 110, looks like 115 lineal feet across the middle there. So that's a real simple uh, explanation of how to use uh, an engineer scale on a drawing. Thank you for listening to this training session, and I look forward to working with you in the near future. Don't forget to visit my website, www.printreading.us, and go to the book order page. Each book comes with a variety of drawings, both residential and commercial, along with write-in text. The answers to all the write-in text is on my website, free, with the purchase of a book. A passcode will be required. Just email me at dorf at dorfmiller.us. Remember, if you get it wrong, a building could look like this.